Hello everybody and welcome to the video. What we're going to do is review the Overwatch 2 Season 3 Battle Pass. And I'm going to say this at the top of the video. This is the best Battle Pass the game has ever had. But it's still not great. I mean, it's a it, it's better, it's an improvement. And it's good that Blizzard are actually improving things. But there's still a lot of work to do here. And one thing which I find really perplexing is there's a lot of games out there that have already learned a lot of the lessons that it seems Blizzard are learning with this Battle Pass. Why don't you just learn from them and then just start at a, you know, you, ain't, you haven't got to start rock bottom. I just don't get why they've done this. But anyway, they're making changes and there are some good changes in this battle pass. So let's get stuck into this. I'm also going to show you guys the shop. I know that it's grayed out here because this is the test server. But I do actually have all of the skins in the hero gallery, which I can show you guys. But to begin with, let's go over to the battle pass. Oh, yeah. And you may have noticed that I've still got minus 75% XP. What this is from is if you join a quick play game on the test server because nobody plays on the test server it puts you into a game and then if you leave the game you get the levers penalty <laughs> so like yeah anyway let's break this down because there are some really good skins here and i think skin wise this is probably the best battle pass they've ever made now again it follows that sort of insane reasoning of it is asian mythology theme the season but the battle pass isn't and the best asian mythological skins are in the shop it is just the way it is there are still some really good skins though in this battle pass so the first tier let's check this out you obviously get the xp uh, bonus xp that's great uh, then you get this black metal skin which is a junk queen skin which in my opinion i think is actually better than a mythic skin i'm not a fan of a mythic skin uh, technically it's fine but yeah this looks this looks really good now, it's obviously based on uh, Kiss. It's a Gene Simmons skin. I mean, she's even got his makeup. Um, she's got a big sort of <laughs> metal. I mean, it's really cool. This is I, this is just really, really cool. Look at that. Metal guitar for her axe. She's got a crazy metal Omnic on a knee pad. This looks really cool. I think this really fits her character as well. Good stuff, Blizzard. Uh, then we get we do get an Asian-themed skin. So this is uh, Chazza, which is the uh, Reaper skin. It's got some nice little effects on it. It's kind of got this glowing black stuff kind of coming out of his from behind his mask it's pretty cool um but the thing with reaper skins it's normally the way his weapon model looks in game if it's massive then i really don't use the skin this one isn't too bad though it's quite streamlined at the top so it's decent it's okay but remember these are the rewards you get just for buying the premium battle pass um so yeah on tier two you will notice this throughout the battle pass you'll have this icon now what this is is it's the new overwatch credits now they are spendable on old overwatch um items so basically anything that is from overwatch one you can spend these on so you've got all of the old legendary skins all of the old seasonal event skins loads of stuff you can buy this is good however this still isn't really the best solution to the problem i would have preferred it if blizzard just gave you a token maybe at level 80 of the battle pass we're like here you go here's a token that you can just spend on any skin you want even the new skins i think that would be a really nice gesture but they've not decided to do that, but this is kind of like meeting in the middle, sort of. Remember, this also isn't premium currency. It's Overwatch credits, which are not the premium currency. That is still not in the Battle Pass. Anyway, we get a vo oh, we get the Pashimari player icon. No, that's not a Pashimari. That's a, that's a Yachi, isn't it? Yeah, Yachi. <laughs> it's the leak thing. <laughs> My beard is older than you are. Indeed, Torb. Oh, okay. So the highlight intros for the Mythic skin... Um, of Kiriko. I've got animations on the headdress, which is really cool. Obviously, you can see this one here has got it. This is made for the skin. But even her normal ones have got animations on this sort of headpiece. It looks, it's really good. And I like that they do stuff like that with the mythic skins. This is pretty cool. Then we get more credits. And I believe you get up to level 5 on the battle pass for free when you log in to Overwatch 2 Season 3 as well. It's kind of like a promotion they've got. Um, yeah, and then we get this, which is a Junkrat... Uh, <laughs> victory pose which I'm, I'm just laughing at his face this is probably going to be on a lot of youtuber thumbnails it's pretty good it's like thumbnail bait <laughs> hey, that's cool uh, then we get a spray and again it will follow this theme of if there is a skin there is a spray for that skin there is a uh player card and a player icon which leads us on to the next one which is the black metal name card which is the junker queen name card for the metal skin uh, then we've got this Constellation Emote for Sigma. And Sigma gets a really good legendary skin in this battle pass. It's uh, it's absolutely mega. <laughs> I really like it. But yeah, that's fine. And also, this follows the theme as well. Look, it's Constellations that he's putting up there. Or a Constellation. And his skin is uh, somewhat galactic-based. <laughs> Tell me a story. And make it a good one. 
Still think Junker Queen's got an absolute top tier voice actress. And then we get this, which is not really any kind of, there's no Asian mythological theme to this. It's just a, a, a leg, an epic skin rather. I think it's based on Louis Vuitton. This looks like with the pattern going on there. I like the colors of this, though. I think it's pretty cool. In terms of an epic skin, yeah, it's fine. It's decent. A uh, weapon model is just going to be gold because I've got the gold Batiste uh, uh, skin. But, like, yeah, I, the weapon model isn't really changed there because it's just an epic skin. It's fine. It's a uh, whatever. It's also on the free track. Then we get the uh, player icon for the Reaper skin. Then we get one of the most pointless cosmetics in any game ever. Uh, they're still rolling with these souvenirs. I wish they'd just get rid of these. Who even uses these souvenirs? I, I, I never see them in-game. They're kind of like a bad emote. I don't know why people would use them, but I guess they're just reusing 3D models to bulk out the battle pass. It's probably all they're doing. Not great. Uh, then you get more credits and you get a uh, spray of the uh, Yachi. <laughs> Mercy gets a... Uh, I really like this, actually. So this is a victory pose. Triage victory pose. I think this is pretty cool. She's kind of... I think she's playing Hearthstone, though, on her iPad. Yeah, she's got Hearthstone on it. <laughs> um, so she's really paying attention. Although this is a kind of a bad season for mercy to get uh, anything really because she's been completely nerfed into the ground by blizzard <laughs> and movement is gone and it's not great anyway then we get more credits and we also get a lovely jubbly strawberry shortcake <laughs> um player icon or player cards even which is fine uh we get a handprint spray which yeah fine we get a weapon charm um which they still don't seem to be able to fit these properly in the hoops. <laughs> I don't understand why. Like, surely they could have moved it up a little bit. I don't know. But this is a penguin. This is obviously inspired by the uh, new map, Antarctica Peninsula, uh, with the penguins on it, on the icebreaker map uh, specifically, or the icebreaker point. It's fine. What reason have you to fear me? I do love Mora's voice actress. Again, top tier voice actress. Then you get more credits, and then you get the player icon for the Junker Queen skin. And then you get the Invisible Man <laughs> Cassidy skin. I, I mean, if anyone's watched Hollow Man, I'm just getting visions back to Hollow Man. But obviously, yeah, this is Invisible Man um, skin. It's just his player model is just been deleted. The texture files have been deleted. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the thing with this, though, the weapon is actually pretty good with this. It looks pretty nice. It's kind of like a futuristic style. It almost... It's giving me kind of like um, Judge Dredd vibes or like Robocop vibes in some ways. I don't know. What's it say there? Cyber Armor Tech G47. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's cool. I like the weapon model in this, which is generally what I pick most of my skins based off. It's nice. It's probably easier to make because they didn't have to do anything to his face either. <laughs> Anyway, let's move to the next tier. So we get the uh, victory pose for Junker Queen, which again is really, really good. This is, I really like this skin. This skin has got a ton of detail on it. <laughs> the face, she looks crazy as well. Really good, I like that, really good. Um, yeah, so we get more credits. Then we get a uh, sort of, what does that say? Adorno, I don't know what that, I was gonna say a bouquet. <laughs> anyway, it's flowers, spray. I think that is, yeah, for the uh, Sombra skin. Um, Anyway, so we get a May Snow Angel highlight. This is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cute. I like the way Snowball looks a little bit. She goes down. Snowball's like, ah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Player icon. Yeah, more credits. Excellent. Uh, then we get a victor uh, victory pose, sorry, uh, called Victorious for Reinhardt. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's pre pretty forgettable, whatever. A lot, most of this is still battle pass filler. Like, I don't think we're ever really going to see them. Give us a battle pass with quality rewards on every tier. <laughs> um, so there is this, which is a another souvenir. A souvenir, sorry. Um, yeah, you're probably never going to see it in game. <laughs> Woodcraft name card. Yep, great. A witch's hat. Well, well, it's not a witch's hat. It's the Chazza hat. It's the Reaper hat. Uh, weapon charm. And then we get this. This is uh, the legendary... I can't say this, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Folklorica. Folkloria. Folklor I'm going to stop now because I'm destroying the language. Uh, but yeah, this skin, I mean, it's, it's all right. It's got a lot of detail on it, I suppose. Um, it, fine. The weapon is decent on this. I mean, her weapon looks great anyway with that visual effect. And it looks really, really cool. I, I actually really like what they've done with the Sombra Overwatch 2 model, especially with the weapon skin. Uh, but yeah, this is fine. I think what will happen with this is people will hate their hairstyle. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's okay. 
but it's probably not one of her stronger legendary skins. Uh, so we get Demon Queen. And when you see the Demon Queen skin at the end of this tier, you will probably absolutely lose it. It is an incredible skin. So yeah, this spray, whatever, it's a spray. Uh, yep, more credits. And then you get the name card for the Sombra skin. Who'd have thought that Strontium and Barium, oh, properly oxidized, could make the night sky so beautiful? Uh, this is kind of like a companion voice line to the other voice line he's got where he speaks about. I think he talks about these elements uh, again uh, and turning the uh, the colors of fireworks green and whatnot. So yeah, whatever. He's a scientist and he's Winston. <laughs> Metal guitar, which is a souvenir. Yep, you're never going to see it in the game, but it's cool to have. Um, yeah, more credits again, which is cool. Uh, photon projector. Uh, what's this? A victory pose. Yep, pretty cool. <laughs> I'm probably never going to unequip this skin. Because <laughs> it's just so... It's so... It's like a good, bad skin. <laughs> anyway. Uh, a Bao Zhao Shan, um, which is a spray. Excellent. And then we get more credits. And then we get uh, a Pashamari variant. Pashiduri. <laughs> a fruit. Who wants to be immortal? <laughs> good voice line there for Batiste. Obviously, throwing down lamp immortality. Excellent stuff. Uh, then we get this, which is an emote for Bastion Hide and Seek. Pretty cool again. I think it's kind of hard to uh, give Bastion emotion. I think that's probably why they gave him Ganymede <laughs> with, with the character design. But yeah, it's cool. I like it. Pretty cool. Good job, Blizz. Well, the, is Ganymede just gone now? Oh, no, there he is. It just appeared on his head. What? Uh, quality control? What? Anyway, let's, let's quickly move on. This is sick. This is absolutely sick, this skin. Look at this. This is Demon Queen Moira. And it is probably her best skin in the game, if you ask me. This is just phenomenal. Get ready. You see the eyes? Watch the eyes. <laughs> As you move, they move. This is an absolutely incredible skin. This makes me sad that you don't get to see this as you play the game. You know, like, as you're playing Moira, you, you just see her, her hands, don't you? You don't see anything else. This is really, really good. This is, And obviously, this is a Asian mythology-themed skin. I think this is incredible. It's got nice effects on it as well. This is, like, one of the... It, it, this is good. I like this. Good job, Blizzard. Like, I like it when the skin department, like, pops off. And they, to be fair, they pop off quite a lot. Um, in a lot of Blizzard games, really. Anyway, so we get the weapon charm for the uh, Junker Queen skin. So, again, like I said, it's, you get weapon charm, you get um, name card, spray player icon skin basically that's how they do it uh so more credits and then we get a spray for the demon queen which is excellent we get the demon queen player icon i'm obviously the most precious yep i hate your entire characters <laughs> no hate's a strong word but i hate her like like okay i'm gonna go on a rant here about kiriko so Kiriko in the animated short is nothing like Kiriko in the game. Like, what has happened there, Blitz? Like, I, she's just, like, annoying in the game. It's like, shut up, Kiriko. Go away. <laughs> Although she does have some pretty good voice lines in the game. Uh, and there's also, she's mega strong and she's going to still be meta. So play Kiriko. And also her mechanics are awesome in the game. Anyway, let's move on. I digress. So, yeah, more credits. Excellent stuff. Um, we get some Rikimaru uh, noodles. Excellent, excellent. Again, this is a uh, souvenir. So, uh, yep. Player icon for the Sombra skin. Spray for the uh, Demon Queen. Uh, did, she, did she get a spray down here? Two sprays for the Demon Queen. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Galactic Sigma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this is... This is okay. This isn't going to blow your mind, but whatever. Justice Reloaded. Cheeky bit of a reload animation. Clipping through the weapon model standard. Uh, yeah. This is probably the worst skin uh, in the Battle Pass, I'm going to say. Um, it's just an epic skin, so I can't be too harsh on it, I suppose. Color variation. Bit of a pattern on her arm, or rather a tattoo. Uh, you have got... Well, the weapon model is going to be the same. But it's gold because I've got a gold weapon. And yeah, she's got grey hair and a bit of... Her, I think her eyes are a different colour as well. It's okay. Uh, then we get a player icon for the Junkrat skin, which I'll we'll show you in a second. More credits. Spray for the Sombra skin. And then we get this victory pose for Genji, which is fine. Yeah, this is cool. It's fine. Genji, whatever. 
Yep, voice line from May. I think she's saying move mountains in uh, Chinese. So, or Mandarin. All right, let's move on. Uh, we've got uh, more weapon charms and credits. Excellent stuff again. Yes, this is very, very good. <laughs> Love it. Also, it's holding premium currency. Or is it actually? Yeah, it is. It's holding the pre. It, no, it's it's actually not. Is it? It's holding the legendary. The the um whatever this is. <laughs> like as I go through these videos, I get more and more <laughs> like insane. What Overwatch credits? There we go. Whatever. <laughs> um name card. Yep, great. And then we've got a invisible man spray, more currency, and then a. Oh, okay. So we've got an emote here. I do like the somber emotes where she brings up a sort of holographic display and starts messing about with it. That's okay. I especially like the way a weapon just like appears in a hand again. <laughs> I think they should probably... These tiers, I mean, what they're trying to do is go, hey, look, there's currency on this tier. But I think it needs to be a bit more apparent, maybe. The other reward you get, maybe split this in half. Like go 50-50, a bit of the reward and that, I don't know. I'm feeling divine. Oh, another top tier voice actor as well. Oh, let's, I've got to go that again. I'm feeling divine. Oh, anyway, let's move on swiftly. So this is a Junkrat skin. Obviously, this is age and mytholog mythologically themed. <laughs> I quite like this skin. I mean, he looks he looks even more insane than he normally looks. <laughs> a lot of detail on this skin. I like the way his hair is uh, lit as well. Good stuff. The wheel, excellent. Love the preview out clips through the floor. <laughs> Surely you can just move it up a little bit, Bliss, whatever. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Cool. The weapon looks really cool as well. Nice gold detail on it. This sort of looks like it's come out of Mists of Pandaria from World of Warcraft. <laughs> that actually looks really vicious, that does. That's, w that's way sharper than normal trap. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I think this is cool. Decent skin. Like, it's... it's Another decent Junkrat skin. I think Junkrat, though, like, he, he always gets the the jester, the sort of devil, the full skin from whatever theme they're doing. It'd be nice if they sort of took it in a different direction with him. But yeah, whatever. I guess he's Junkrat. So yeah, we get a nice uh, victory pose for Zarya cannon up. Cool. Lure me out. I dare you. Kiriko being annoying again. <laughs> Demon Queen weapon charm. Ah, so Woodblock Fox Spray. So this is the first of the mythic Kiriko sort of themed rewards, I guess. Yep, excellent. Uh, this is a strong contender for a name card to replace. Uh, well, actually, I, I normally have the Omnicode uh, name card on, but uh, I might replace it. Obviously on this, because it's the test server, I don't. Because I think this is from like way back in whenever the last season was, or first season no this was from launch of the game i think they've just never changed this account because it's like old old anyway whatever so that's decent a fond reality nice nice i like intro yeah so i like this this is using her her, her new javelin because obviously you know she doesn't have any i don't think she has any highlight intros using any of her new stuff i don't think which is cool because remember she's got the the one where she's the goalkeeper and she's saving the balls but she's using halt obviously she doesn't have that ability no more so i think this is cool it's fine again it's just kind of forgettable like most of the stuff is in the battle pass although i will say the skins are much better this time around anyway yeah that's fine actually i do kind of like that oh, that's actually really nice that is i like the style of that that is really nice so i take back what i just said i like that <laughs> this is uh yeah more of that uh we get an ash Victory pose. Obviously, you'll never see Bob. It'll just be Ash leaning on him, which is fine. And then we get this. So this is Galactic Sigma. You may notice he looks very similar to a certain other person who's also got another name that sounds very similar to Galactic. <laughs> I, You know, I don't know what it is with these skins that have got this sort of movable texture on them. Like, I don't know. They really mess with my head. I think this looks really good, though. And again, it's that whole constellation theme. You can see he's got constellations on his shoulder pads as well. Um, his balls are more geometric, I guess. <laughs> but I like this. This is really nice, this skin. I think the colors go really well on it. And this is a good job. Good job, Blizzard. Okay, let's move on to the final tier. So we get the Divine Kunai, which is uh, part of the Kiriko series for, for the Mythic skin. Uh, player icon. We get an emote. Rock on. 
Kiss, again, massively inspired. Tong out. Gene Simmons, it's exactly the same thing. I think it's cool. This is probably the Junker Queen skin that I'm going to wear for the foreseeable future. Because it's just, I think it's her best skin. <laughs> um, yep, more credits. Another spray. Again, really nice art style as well. There. I like that. Um, Amaterasu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, player card. Good stuff. More cash. And then we get a nice little uh, Omamori. O Omori. Omamori. <laughs> Uh, weapon job. Sometimes it's six shots, one kill. Possibly the best voice line in the history of Overwatch 2. Sometimes it's six shots, <laughs> one kill. It's always six shots, one kill. What are you talking about, Widow? <laughs> That's amazing. Like, I, I love stuff like that where it's like the game is taking the piss out of itself. I think they're really, really good. I wish they'd do more of that stuff. Uh, yeah, this souvenir. You know what I think about souvenirs? <laughs> Bit more currency, and then, uh, yep, that spray again looks pretty decent for the Junkrat skin. Uh, then you get a Roadhog highlight intro. Let's uh, take a better look at this. It's okay. It's probably not his best. It's fine. And then we finally move on to the Mythic skin. So, let's break this down. Okay, come with me to the Hero Gallery, because it's actually easier to show this skin off in the Hero Gallery. I don't know why it doesn't do this in the uh, Battle Pass, but whatever. Anyway, I can show you all the options for this. So, the weapon variants, you've got two. Now, they also change the charm. So, this is the original variant, and obviously, the kunai looks like that, which I think is pretty sick. Then you get this variant, which I'm not too hot on, but it also changes the charms, and you get that. And I kind of like that charm. I'd like to be able to use that charm with this weapon, not that charm. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> pretty... You know, whatever. Anyway, let's go back and uh, hang on. How do I go back? It won't let me go back. There we go. It's let me go back. Okay, cool. <laughs> Spam all of the buttons. Uh, yeah, but what I was saying is this charm, I think I prefer that to this charm, but I prefer the other kunai design. But hey, whatever. Uh, also, you get three different crown options. This one is probably my favorite. Um, it just looks more fuller. It looks sort of bigger, I guess. Um, that's the one you'll see in all the promo material as well. So it's probably Blizzard's favorite. It's sort of like the sun uh, motif there. Then you've got the moon, which again, I think this one's pretty decent. Probably my least favorite though. Uh, and then you've got the serpent. Now, there is something really interesting with these. If I show you guys the highlight intros and go to like heroic, watch this. Watch the crown. I really like this. Look at that. They've all got like specific animations. It's so cool. Good job, Blizzard. Really like that. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's go back to this. So if we go back to customization, oh, la, la, customize. Um, and uh, yeah, we've taken a look at those hairstyles next. So this one is sort of like the longer hairstyle. I think it's pretty decent, but there is an Akami style hair, which I think just looks incredible. Right, so you get a shorter hair version of the hair, which this is essentially just this, but a little bit shorter with a ponytail. Actually, no, I'm kind of selling it short. There. There's a lot more detail on this one. The hair's folded in different ways. Yeah, it's a short hairstyle if you want that. It's kind of got the longer front bangs, I guess. Uh, anyway, this, the Akami, this is like, oh, I like this one. It's like the Hanzo Akami skin. Um, I think it goes really well with this color scheme. So if we just zoom out by spamming this a bit, yeah, this color scheme I think looks really sick with that hairstyle to me. Um, this color is okay, and I probably would go for purple color scheme next. But of course, you could change the hair. So if we go for like longer hair and we go for the gold look, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think overall, this is a pretty good mythic skin. I probably would give it second place behind the Genji skin. Um, but yeah, apart from that, you know, good job, Blizzard. I like the way how it's got the little bits of um, detail on the highlight intros for the crown. That's really cool stuff. And her ultimate has got new visuals as well. There's also new sound effects as well uh, with this skin on uh, things like teleport and heal and stuff like that. So, yeah, there are nice little additions to this. But, yeah, the arches look different. They look a bit more detailed. Oh, and uh, one thing I should state is there are a couple of skins that are not included in this um, that we've already seen. So there is a Diva skin. It's not in this build of the game, so I can't show you guys, but it'll probably come out later on in the season. I think there's a, a few others as well. And also, I cannot show you the Hanzo skin. I know that's a bit silly because you guys have already seen the Hanzo skin, but we've been asked not to show the Hanzo skin. It's probably because it might not be finished yet, but yeah, all the other stuff I'm going to show you. Oh, and uh, there's also a Ramatra skin, which I cannot show you, but... Uh, Looks pretty good. So when that comes out in the future, I think you guys will like that. Okay, this is Sigma Beekeeper. Now, I think this is part of a... It might be part of a... 
pack, or I might be getting confused. It might be the Mercy skin, which I'll show you guys in a second, which is part of the, you know, they do that where you buy the skin and you get 500 premium credits. I think the Mercy skin's in that. Um, but yeah, this is a legendary beekeeper skin. Now, I don't mind this skin. I don't think it's too bad, but <laughs> I think this could get super annoying because if you can hear, the bees are constantly buzzing when you've got this skin and it's like a little bit frustrating. Do like the detail on the back though, hive, and it looks like a hive. You can sort of see the honeycombs. Yeah, and obviously he's got beekeeper attire on and bonus because he's got shoes on. So yeah, good job. <laughs> Winston gets an epic monkey business skin. <laughs> I mean, he's dressed up for business <laughs> and he's doing monkey business. I'll take it, but I probably won't buy it, Blizzard, but there you go. <laughs> Wrecking Ball Sugar Bomb. This one looks pretty nice. <laughs> so um, there is also, I believe, a highlight intro uh, for this where he, um, well, he, he sort of eats the wafer. <laughs> I, I don't know whether I, it's here. Maybe it is. Yeah, yeah. He, look at him. He eats the wafer. Of the <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I love it. I love stuff like that. Really good. Excellent, excellent. Anyway, back to the skin. So, yeah, we know what crustacean is. But yeah, so this is pretty cool. Weapon model, again, looks decent. Um, yeah, he's just a big ball of he's some sort of cake with icing and, and thousand and one things on the top. And yeah, it, it's cool. And he looks very mischievous with his little hat. I've always wanted one of them hats. <laughs> now, Ash gets an absolutely sick skin. This is the Raijin skin. And uh, this is incredible. It's like a, a demon. It looks amazing. Like, look at this skin. I mean, Bob looks. I mean, Bob looks incredible. Bob always looks incredible. He looks really good. <laughs> look at him. He looks. He looks insane. But yeah, look at this. The detail on this is crazy. But there is something I do want to say about this skin. The dynamite looks really good. Um, this though is super frustrating in the game. Now I took a look at this in the training range, um, but I guess you guys are just going to have to take my word for this. I didn't get any footage of it. Um, the iron sight, uh, it's massive. It's really big on this skin. It kind of gets in the way, really lets the skin down. So it's one of those situations where the skin looks incredible, but I would never use it because the weapon model is just not great. Like it's in your face. But again, that's a personal preference thing. So yeah. But overall, this is a this is a an in, like a, a really good skin. But is it worth, you know, the dollars? Mm. Genji gets a divine monkey legendary skin. Um, which again is really good detail. This is, I mean, this is this has got to be up there with one of the legendary skins with the most detail on it. it. Just looks incredible. I mean, that this is like, I I I, I actually really like this skin. Um, I don't really know what to say about this. Obviously, you know, it's it's, it's monkey themed. It's, uh, I think that looks really really good. That does as a skin, especially for Genji, because I, I this might be a bit of a hot take, but like this skin. I don't feel like this has got much like like this skin is infinitely better than that skin. I know this skin's an epic, but this is like Genji. It's like traditional Genji. I'm probably gonna get slaughtered for this because like it's modern Genji with a hoodie on, right? And he's got his hoodie up. Um, but again, I don't know. Would you have paid for this? I don't know. Oh, as soon as I remember, we have to buy these skins. It kills me. May gets a really good skin. I really like this skin. And if I jiggle her, because <laughs> he likes you know, jiggling May. Oh yes. <laughs> But you can hear those things knocking together on a head. It's amazing. Anyway, yeah, this is an Empress skin, which obviously is Chinese Empress style. Uh, this is really, really good. I really like the detail on this again. This is an incredible skin. But this should be in the Battle Pass, shouldn't it, really? Like, I think if these skins were in the Battle Pass, people would lose their mind. But uh, yeah, they put the best skins in the store there. And I think that's what we're going to have to deal with for the foreseeable future. Um, yeah, the weapon model again. There's a lot of detail there. It kind of looks like a, almost like a dragon kind of head there, maybe. Or maybe that's some sort of bird again really good do like it but yeah sick skin absolutely sick uh farrah gets an epic skin uh it's a punk skin um she's just fluorescent colored and kind of got a bit of graffiti on her i mean it's okay she's got a bit of paint on her face as well a weapon says justice it's okay it's like it's like she's it's some sort of splatoon reject <laughs> Soldier 76 gets a golfer skin because obviously every dad goes golfing. True fact about me, I hate golf. I think it's incredibly boring as a sport. <laughs> but maybe as I get older, I'll like it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he's off golfing. It's just an epic skin. So a bit of a recolor. Um, and then obviously he's got, well, green sort of visor on. For, and he's got a golf cap on as well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, weapon looks fine. Looks the same. I mean, it would be because it's epic anyway. So yeah, decent, fine. 
Okay, I can't remember if this was in the game already, but I'm just going to quickly throw it in just in case. Uh, Captain Torbjorn. I, I can't remember seeing this skin. But then I never really pay attention to the skins anyway, but whatever. Uh, yeah, he's a captain. <laughs> okay, I'll give this one a quick look because I've got a sneaking suspicion. This actually is in the game. Oh, it's got a little animated bit there. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, and on this hammer as well. Oh, actually, this is... He's like, he looks like the captain of the Titanic, which is probably not a good thing to look like. <laughs> like the rope in the back as well. And I get a midnight camo skin, which looks sick. Like, this is really nice. Um, but again, remember, it's a store skin, so it's going to cost cash. Um, I, I do like this, though. It's, it's sort of like a tech wear vibe going on with Anna. I mean, she's always had that vibe anyway, but it's like the color scheme looks really nice as well. I do like that. Again, weapon model. Um, it's got a bit of extra detail here. She's kind of got this... I don't think she's got that on her existing skin, uh, a standard skin. But uh, even if she has, I don't know, it still looks really good. Uh, and the sleep done, yeah, uh, gone even, yeah, it's got like sort of this like carbon fiber effect on it, which looks really cool. I like this skin. I really like Anna masks where the face looks ominous. Because if you guys remember way back to Overwatch 1 when we were all speculating about Sombra, we thought Anna was Sombra um, because of the, the Shrike skin uh, that she had. Really cool times. Anyway, yeah, good skin. Do like it. Brig gets a pearlescent skin. Again, I think this is new. Um, I don't think this is an old one. If it is, don't destroy me in the comments below. <laughs> it's worth checking out, I guess, while we're here. <laughs> yeah, it's just got a pearlescent paint effect on it, which, yeah, that does exactly what it says on the tin. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's cool. Ah, yeah, so this is the honeybee uh, skin for Mercy. She's obviously a bee. <laughs> um, but this, I believe, is the starter pack for this season. So if you go to the store, you know, it's that pack where you get credits and you get the skin as well. Um, and it matches the theme of the, the Sigma skin. Um, I actually think this is pretty cool, this skin. I think this actually is pretty nice. Again, it's sad because Mercy's been nerfed into oblivion <laughs> in this season, which is really, really sad. But yeah, this is fine. Again, it's an epic skin, so... It's probably a slightly higher-end epic skin. Because, yeah, I know they've changed the model of the hair. But it looks like they've done quite a bit of work, actually, on the, the patterns, on the textures and stuff. So, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, and finally, we've got the Takoyaki skin for Zen, which I believe he is... Now, don't slaughter me for this in the comments, guys. But I believe this is like... It's like a Japanese chef. Because, I mean, if you look, he's... he's well, I'll show you his balls. <laughs> Look, he's got the food on his balls. He's like, he's cocked up his balls. It sounds so wrong. He's, I've probably been demonetized for this, but he's cooked up. He's cooked them up. They're steaming. He's absolutely on fire, and he is going to destroy you. <laughs> again, a really cool skin. But again, you know, this, it, it, yeah, it, you, you're going to have to pay top dollar if you want this skin because it's legendary. Okay, everybody, there you go. That's been a look at the Season 3 Battle Pass. I guess just to quickly sum up this video, I know it's been a long video, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it, though. But this, um, it is a step in the right direction. There's still a lot of things they need to do to the Battle Pass to, um, you know, make it more in line with modern Battle Passes. I mean, even, even just, you know, we always fall back on this, but the fact there's no premium currency available, the fact that you buy this Battle Pass and then you cannot get the next Battle Pass via completing this one is kind of like a slap in the face i think the reason they do that is because the main monetization behind this game is getting players to buy the battle pass because they know if you don't buy skins out of the store there is a very high chance you'll buy the battle pass because it's got a hero in again with this season there is no hero so they've i think loaded it with much better rewards and again the uh, takeaway is they've put the legacy credits or the now overwatch credits into this battle pass uh, to offset the fact there is no hero but yeah next season there will be a hero and that's why people will be buying the battle pass again so uh yeah i guess the short answer is they're never going to let you in basically earn the next battle pass through playing a battle pass because that's how they make their money all right guys thank you for listening and watching the video i hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments below what your favorite skin was and if you're going to pick up the battle pass as well all right guys catch you on the next one see you soon